In this video, I will share with you 10 signs that you are dating a toxic person. Hello, my name is Greta Berishida. I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high value woman secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And just before I will share with you both 10 signs that you are dating a toxic person, don't forget to take my free self-awareness test to find out are you a woman of high value or low value, which I will drop down in the video description box below. And if you like my merch, cheese goals and not the drama as always you can get it in my youtube store so ladies before i share with you both 10 signs i just want you to understand that like attracts like you attract who you are so if you are dating a toxic person or if you are interested in a toxic person even though you have seen the red flags is because you can relate to that person is because more or less you are on the same page as them you are interested in things that they are interested in on the other hand when you spot the red flags and you are not a toxic person, you are a healthy person, you will get turned off by a toxic person because you're not going to be able to relate to them. So you will see those characteristics as a big turn off in them. You're not going to be interested in the same things that they are interested in. Therefore, after seeing the red flags, automatically you will remove yourself from them. So number one, characteristic of a toxic guy is he says that he does not pursue women he does not court women he does not show too much interest he just basically shows up and he lets the girls come to him and nowadays there are so many ladies that literally go after men themselves uh, because nowadays we are so influenced that men and women are literally the same and that you should go for what you want so men get really used to this idea of women approaching men and they just kind of don't do anything or a lot of men are made to think that they are like princesses they are the kings and that it's a woman that should be approaching them however if you're gonna believe this type of mindset and if you will follow this type of mindset first of all you as a woman will not be happy because to pursue a man is not your job it's not gonna make you feel good it's gonna actually make you feel really empty really unworthy really unvaluable and insecure when you will be going after a man and most of the time men will either take you and reject you after or will just reject you straight away because a man does not feel good when a woman pursues him either like yes his ego gets stroked he feels good in a way like oh check me out she's coming after me but he does not develop feelings for this type of woman because she does not fulfill his love needs by pursuing him first so if a man tells you that he does not pursue women just go like thank you next because he is not a guy for you as if you will give in and will start to pursue him automatically you're not gonna feel good and you will turn him off so save yourself some time and just say thank you next number two toxic behavior from a guy is then he did something off you sit in a boundary and instead of him stepping it up and coming to you and apologizing or proving himself to you he runs away so this is a very insecure behavior and um, insecure men do it for a number of reasons one of the reasons is he might remove himself from you hoping that you will miss him and you will get more insecure about him leaving you and you will be the one chasing him as you'll get too scared to lose him so this could be one of the reasons why an insecure immature man that plays games pulls away after you set in a boundary 
Another reason could be that he's playing a power game. He doesn't want to step it up or apologize because it will make him lose his power. So in this case, um, all you can really do is give him the power game back. You need to stand your ground when you're setting in a boundary. As if you will submit to him when you're setting in a boundary and you will go after him even though he did something wrong he will lose all the respect for you and you basically will give will give him a green light to continuously disrespect you because he will know that even though he keeps disrespecting you you still are the one coming after him and the other guys you know they might just disappear on you after you set in a boundary as they will realize that you are not what they are looking for some guys look for you know easy girls that they can play and manipulate and once you set in a boundary you show your value and worth even though he will respect you more for setting in a boundary maybe at the stage in life you are not what he is looking for. Number three toxic behavior from a guy um, is he is hot and cold constantly. A lot of mixed signals. So for example you meet on a date and he says one thing and then he contradicts himself and then he says another thing he contradicts himself. So he's always hot and cold. I want you, no I don't want you. I say I love you and then a couple hours later or the next sentence would be like yeah but I'm not in love with you a couple weeks later again he'll he tells you that he's in love with you and then a couple days later says yeah but I'm not really in love with you this is just love you know so mixed signals a lot of guys are scared to reassure women because we think that we lose power by doing that and a lot of guys have this mixed belief thinking that he's gonna give a woman mixed signals she will want him more it's a very toxic behavior that works with other toxic women that relate to drama and chaos mixed signals does not work with women that are healthy that are high value women as it just shows that the guy is the game player and he doesn't know what he wants he wants you he doesn't want you he wants you he doesn't want you it's a very insecure behavior it's like make up your mind you're just coming across very immature for a toxic character of a person is when we share with you that their exes have been drama then somebody says well my ex was like this and my other ex was like this and I was in toxic relationships this is a big major red flags because as I said before like attracts like and yes when we are really young and we, when we get into that first relationship a lot of times we don't know what's toxic what's healthy and you know you're all immature and stuff like that so it's it's common that you might be sucked in into an unhealthy relationship and you're really young and you really cannot tell the difference what talk to what's toxic and what's not yet if you've been raised in the right value you were used to people treating you good you're just not gonna allow the toxic uh, person into your life because again you're not gonna accept their bad treatment as you will see that as disrespectful and wrong so when somebody says that we had toxic relationships in the past it's a very very big red flag the person you're talking with is toxic themselves as if they would have not been toxic they would have not allowed the toxic relationships in their life number five characteristic of a toxic person is when they stingy when they count their every single penny when they not generous for example there is a very good saying giving that expectation is not giving is a manipulation a good godly person is you is a generous person in fact 
generosity is very very big in a bible people that do kind of tit for tat like i got you a drink now you must get me a drink or i got you this you need to get me that they keep like a note for every single thing that they like spending on you this is a big big red flag that this person has a lot of insecurities with money but they are very protective of themselves and they are really scared to be taken advantage of. Number six toxic characteristic of a person is when he is putting you down. So I'll share like a bad example and a good example, right? So let's say if you're dating a guy and he is um, a little bit behind you, there are a few things that he might do. One, he might feel intimidated by you and he will try to put you down, hoping that that way he will lift himself up or he might try to overtake you. So if he's putting you down, obviously you say thank you next because this is an extremely toxic behavior. On the other hand, what a high value man might do if he feels like he's a bit behind you, but let's say he really likes you and he admires you and he thinks you're great with your business, what he might do, he will encourage you and motivate you to do well, to do fantastic and to keep going for it. But in the meantime, he will focus to overtake you so he could lead you. And so you could have uh, respect and admiration uh, for him. So if you meet this type of guy, that is fantastic, but these guys are very rare. Although I definitely experienced that myself. Yet be wary if you feel like you are in front of a guy. A lot of guys will take the toxic way out and will try to bring you down so they can look better and be in front of you. And of course, this is a very, very, very toxic quality in a man. Number seven characteristic of a low value man is he gossips a lot. Um, he gossips about who slept with who, how many women are pursuing him, and his conversations will always revolve around sex, or a lot of the conversations will be based on sex and who's basically sleeping with who, who is having a one night stand with who. This is a big major red flag, ladies. Um, when you spot this, go thank you next because this guy is focused on the drama. He loves the drama. If you will start to date him, you will get sucked into his drama and you will become the drama yourself. Number eight characteristic of a toxic person is if he's a guy, he is always surrounded by lots of female friends. In fact, he doesn't even have that many male friends. So why do guys have a lot of female friends? Because we like to play the field, because we like to come across as a nice guy. They like attention, they relate more to women than they relate to men because we are a bit more feminine. We usually tend to be quite insecure and when you have a lot of female friends, you usually get a lot of ego strokes. So if a guy has more female friends than male friends, look at it as a red flag that you may be getting involved with a toxic person. Number nine characteristic of a toxic person, they constantly try to make you do something what's not good for you, what's not healthy for you. So instead of, let's say, motivating you for your goals or dreams or ambitions or encouraging you to do what's good for your life long term to stay on your healthy path, instead of that, we try and drag you into the unhealthy habits. Maybe they trying to drag you into clubbing every night. Maybe they trying to drag you into drinking or taking drugs or provoking you that you are this boring person and that life is short and you should have some fun. A person like that always sees fun in bad. They see fun in drama. Therefore, they always surround themselves with drama and they try to get you into the drama with them. Number 10 characteristic of a toxic person is assuming. Always assuming the worst. 
So a lot of people assume the worst based on their insecurities, based on their trust issues, or sometimes people assume because we think we can read you or we think we know better than you. So if the person is assuming something about you because we think that we know better than you, a lot of times you will start to feel undervalued by that person because you will see that they think that they are better than you. Long term this can be really annoying as this is like a very toxic and arrogant behavior in a person. The other example could be when the person has been hurt a lot before and you, let's say, you didn't reply to their message on time or you got a message from a guy and their partner explodes and goes crazy based on their insecurities because we have massive trust issues as we probably have been hurt in the past. So guys, as I always say, before even thinking of dating or getting into a relationship, first work on your toxic behaviors, first work on your insecurities, sort them out first because if you're not going to every single relationship that you're gonna get involved with will be toxic as again like attracts like if you want a healthy relationship heal your wounds first and only then look into the dating so ladies these are my 10 characteristic of a toxic person if you liked this video please press like let me know in the comments below what did you think join Greta's high value women school where we are all in the same boat learning how to be women of high value and bring out the best in our man follow me on my instagram my instagram is called ladies relationship coach and for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or a member of my team or joining my incredible vip book us through my website which is called gradabirishita.com and if you would like to know how to stay attractive via text games mentally on women how to control your emotions how to get your ex back how to love yourself or if you have a little hobby that you would like to make into a business i have all of these packages for sale on my website gradabirishita.com thank you so much for watching my queens kisses from dorset ah.